www.thepatriotradio.com. Now, back to your friends, Don and Gino. <laughs> Long time in the mortgage business, but I evidently I love it. Straight out of college, you know, straight into the mortgage business. Who yeah, does that? You know what? It's really a great, great business. Uh, a lot of stress, but also a lot of glory, a lot of happiness, a lot of excitement when you put someone in a home. That's right. We have Paul Dinkel with Remax of Valencia. Paul, how many times when you hand the keys to somebody for their brand new home did they go, ah, oh, I wish I didn't do that? That has not happened yet. <laughs> 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 I can honestly say. Yeah, I mean, who does that? I mean, and that's what I'm getting at is it's so, our job is so rewarding. There's nothing like purchasing either your first home or your next home. It doesn't matter. Every time it's just exciting because I've bought a couple homes. You've helped me with those. And it is exciting every time. And we get that glory. I mean, we actually have a wall of, of fame, we call it, where our clients now come in and we let them push the funding button for their new home. And they get to ring our funding bell. And then we take a picture of it, and it just kind of solidifies the fact that they're now homeowners, and and that's called building relationships. And I know you're all yeah, about that's that. that's a great touch. Yeah, I know it's really good. And you know, uh, we've been talking a lot about do-it-yourselfers, uh, and how scary <laughs> that can be uh, in any business. But in selling your home, it is probably why would you ever take the largest asset you've ever owned and try to sell it yourself? I mean, it just without a professional. Well, the reality is everybody thinks that they're going to save money because they're not going to pay for a commission. That's the reality, right? That's the misconception, we'll call it. And, Don, you alluded to before we went on break that there was uh, some numbers that came out, national statistic for those numbers, and that was coming directly from the NAR. Yeah, National Associated Realtors, they have done the survey, and they basically have come to the conclusion after checking out real results. This isn't just a survey asking people. This is actually FISBOs versus like sales so it's not somebody just saying i think i sold it for more i think i saw it this is actually like for like properties in the same neighborhood sold by a for sale by owner versus one working with a professional real estate agent and you think you're going to save that potential six percent commission right not and eh. believe it or not you lost three percent thank you for playing bob right so <laughs> the national average so you're talking about let's just use a, an average home here in santa clarita let's just call it four hundred thousand dollars so you lose an additional $12,000 by doing it yourself, and you deal with all the hassles that we talked about earlier, liability, uh, security, uh, time, effort, just so many other things. It just doesn't make any sense. Well, okay, Paul, let's go into the next step. We talked about some of the, <laughs> this, you know, the fear factor that you don't, you don't have an insurance to protect you. You have people you don't know walking in your home. Uh, how do you even you know, get buyers to your home? Okay, let's just say you're smarter than the average bear, and you've figured out how to put a sign in your home and sell it. Now what? I mean, th between the, the contracts, the negotiations, we see it every day, and we are the masters of it. We work hard. Our team is phenomenal. You're phenomenal because we've done it many times. How hard is it to hold that escrow together now that you sold it? Well, it's uh, much harder to hold it together than to actually sell it. A hundred percent. The selling is the easy piece. It's actually keeping it together that is where the work begins. Well, Why is that? What could go wrong? Yeah. Uh, you name it, it <laughs> could go wrong. I mean, there, there's <laughs> never a problem with it in an appraisal situation, potentially. Well, you start with the appraisal. And oftentimes, if you don't do your homework, if you don't provide comps for the appraiser, provide a list of improvements, uh, and show all the features and benefits of the home and document it, you may get a very low appraisal. And then once that happens, you have a real problem because either the seller lowers the price, the buyer comes up with extra cash, or the deal crashes. Okay, good point. Um, okay, then what about, you know, are there home inspections being done? Uh, one of the home inspection is one of the first things that you would do after you've uh, opened escrow. And the inspector will come in, if you get a good inspector, and they will look at every inch of that house. They'll look at all the systems, and they will put together a report, and oftentimes they find many things that uh, are either, you know, broken, uh, don't work, or not in up to insufficient, par. or not to code. 
uh, and then the uh, the uh, buyer gets that report. And if you don't really hold their hand, they're going to freak out. Well, and then who's negotiating on your behalf? I mean, you can negotiate, hey, this is part of the contract, or let's negotiate, let's figure this out. Those are all those little idiosyncrasies that you've dealt with. Okay, here's where experience really comes into play, and I hope you're listening because I know it helps us here at Cherry Creek Mortgage, why you work with us at Cherry Creek Mortgage, is because we have so much experience. We pretty much have seen it all, like you have, Paul. I've seen you right. handle it. <coughs> you keep calm. You keep emotions down. You figure it out because you've see, been there, done that, and when these problems uh, uh, arise, and they will, you're going to have turbulence on this flight, guarantee. You take off all great because you sold your home, but you still got to get to the landing. And there's, during that turbulence, it's your professionals that have seen this, been there, done that, and know how to fix it. And that's where really having a professional behind you because those emotions when you're in contract are even worse than before contract, right, Gina? Yeah, in fact, I'm thinking of a circumstance where things can get really complicated because I've seen this happen before as well. You go to sell your own home because you want to save the 6%. However, the buyer appears with their agent. That agent wants to be paid their 2 2 and a half, 3%, whatever you negotiate anyway, okay, because that usually happens. Still, that agent will approach the seller and say, hey, you know, I'm going to work this for you. Then what happens when you start getting inspections? Now, someone who does do it yourself or is forced to negotiate with a professional that's doing this every single day, you will absolutely lose money every single time when you get the inspection, when you get a request for repairs. You might not even know what documents you're looking at. Well, just to give you an example, if you, if you have a home inspection done, the inspectors will uh, basically talk about things that are to code, okay, or things that would be... Uh, a recommended improvement aren't, but aren't necessarily a code requirement. And they'll always put that in there. And if the buyer comes back and says, I want you to fix X, Y, and Z, even though those things are not a code requirement, that could cost you thousands of dollars to comply with that. And if you don't know that, you know, those things are not required because they're just uh, recommendations, suggestions to improve the safety, but they never get done in a normal transaction. But if you didn't know that, uh, you could be forced into or think you have to comply with that and spend the money to retrofit and a lot of things. what if you don't have the money to do that? Well, if you don't have the money, then the deal could crash. Exactly. I mean, these are just, we're just forewarning you. Again, this is not just to, <coughs> to sell our great friend Paul Dinkle with Remax of Valencia. It's to enlighten you of why there's professionals out there. It's like you go into a courtroom and trying to negotiate on your own behalf against a, a seasoned professional attorney. You're going to get eaten up and spit out, no doubt. And you know that. It's no different than... And so why do it with, like Gino said, that was very good, Gino, the whole, this is the biggest asset of your life, and you're going to intru not entrust it to a professional? It's crazy. No, it just doesn't make any sense. And like I said, it's uh, just the fact that we're in California. It's a very litigious state. Just the fact that you get the E&O insurance is just a peace of mind situation. You mentioned a word, you know, you said uh, retrofit. You know, you may not know that there's things that need to be done in California when you sell a home. Uh, in Los Angeles, city of Los Angeles, you need to have a 9A report. You need to have carbon monoxide detectors. You need to have low, uh, low flush toilets, low flush uh, toilets, safety glazed windows. Yep. Yeah, there's uh, a whole, earthquake whole shutoff list of valves. Things. Right, all this list of items that need to be done on a retrofit. If you don't do the retrofit and someone gets hurt in the future and you sold the home with no retrofit, you could be found liable, especially something so simple as the safety glaze on the window, right? Some, somebody walks through that window, you're getting sued. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very dangerous if, you're, if you don't know what you're doing. Another good example, too, where you could really get burnt, every, almost every home that's financed requires a termite inspection. And in the termite inspection, uh, if someone checks fences, okay, on the termite inspection, uh, that's a disaster because there's not a fence in Southern California that will, that will pass a termite inspection. So if that was checked, and it's going to be a Section 1 every time, you're going to end up replacing your, all the fences in your yard, which could be thousands of dollars. Yeah, I'm sure you plan on you that. You always want to negotiate that out if any agent was foolish enough to put that in. Okay. So we've, we've come across a ton of uh, potential pitfalls by you thinking you can earn more money by selling your home by yourself. We've already clarified, well, one, two, three, about 20 <laughs> things yeah. to watch out for. 
Let's talk about what also you lose and why you don't sell your home for as much as having a professional and why it could take longer and why it could be priced wrong and so many other factors. Paul Dinko's got a good list here of why it's important to work with a true professional that's going to make all the difference in your life and not just protecting you, but also giving you the market exposure you need to sell your home because without a buyer, you can't sell a home. The sign in your house in your yard does not sell the home. It's bringing buyers, and Paul Dinkle knows how to do that. He's going to share how he does it. When we come back to the Don and Gino, Real Estate and Finance Show on your hometown station, AM 1220.